let's take a detailed look at string functions. Here we have a string function init cat which says change all the first letters in each word to uppercase. Pass through the init cat function gives me my name is Joe. Let's try out that init cat function and let's try select init cat name from category. We note for instance that children's music and theater is all uppercase on the first letter of each word. If we select once again name from category we find that it actually changed the word and it changed the S after the apostrophe because it assumes that the S is actually a word by itself. That can probably be avoided by using escape sequences and escape characters on the quote character because Oracle actually uses a quote as a language interpretation command as a string delimiter. So, string functions. Here are all the string functions currently available in Oracle. The ones that are highlighted in red are generally the ones that I use often and the ones that we're interested in. The ones that we're not interested in at this stage are generally the national language character set functions, soundex which does something odd and returns phonetic representations of words to do with sound, ASCII and char deal with conversions between binary and character values, and the treat function does things with data types. So let's get back to the red ones. These are all the red ones. Let's look at them in detail by example. Concat. Concat expression expression. This means that you put two expressions or strings delimited by a comma into the concat function. The concat function concatenates or sticks two strings together. Let's look at an example. I have a large number of examples which I've typed into a SQL file and I'll use these to demonstrate all of these string functions. So let's go through them one by one. The concat function. I've got two names, actually a first name and a last name and two separate strings and I'm simply concatenating them into a single string. Obviously it probably would have looked better since this is a name if I'd done something like this. And there we have it. Concat to char category ID and name from category table. It simply concatenates the values. We could make that even better by saying select concat to char category ID and and what I was thinking of actually doing is this. Let's embed them. So we have two char category ID convert it to a char we need to concat that to a comma, and then we need to concat the result to the name column from category. And there we have what could effectively be a common delimited file. If we were to output it to a spool file, etc. There's a much easier way of doing that, of course. We can simply say, in fact, we probably don't even have to use the two char function because there will probably be an implicit type conversion. You've seen me use this in the past. Where I have a single concatenation using these double pipe commands. I needed to use two concat commands embedded within each other because I had three items to concatenate together. But I showed you how to embed things. You can embed functions. One function can call another. That's what I mean by embedding. So that's concatenation.